All right, so it's been a while since I did a, a video update, but I have been updating this score bars every now and then, every at least once or a couple times a month, maybe. I've kind of run out of ideas of things to add to it at the moment. I'm still, still brainstorming. Um, so we're gonna go over the a couple of things I've added in the last couple of updates. So. So now, I'm not sure if it was there before, but there's a Patreon now if you might want to support. Um, there's a couple different tiers for that. And each tier has something... Um, well, you get something for each tier, of course. I'm gonna get over that. So, um, before that though, I've added... I don't know, it's been a while since I had video updates. I've added a whole lot more than I had before, but I'll show you ones that are specific now. So, you know, that blend, that mesh better with the interface of whatever the game is. So there's already the Blaze, so the, the Blaze Blue Central Fiction one, this is one of the newer ones, more recent ones anyway that I added. It meshes well with it. Um, the Cross Tag one was the first one actually. Yeah, the first one I added, uh, added, but now specific, so it actually lines up with the bars. With the bars there. There is also... I just added this Dragon Ball Z one, which really nice. Real flush. I dig it. Um, <laughs> look at that. And the screenshot's from some somebody I screenshot off of. Off of Twitch, I think Kofi plays. I guess I just needed it for the uh, to line everything up. But that looks pretty darn sweet. There's even some drag. You can't probably you probably can't see it, but there's some Dragon Balls in the uh, in the bar there. Uh, uh, there was a Guilty Gear Strive beta that came out a couple months ago. I made one for that, assuming that um, the life bar stayed the way they are. I think that's pretty good. I think I like the way that looks. Yeah. <laughs> there's also. Um, Persona 4. People still play Persona 4 Arena. There's one for that as well. Um, well there you go. That looks. I dig it. Right? Stylish. Grand, and there's a Grand Blue one. I think I had that one not too. Not, that, was, that was a while ago now, but when the beta was out. Um, I like it. Okay, so so anyway, so in the admin panel now, you have uh, depending on if you are supporting with the Patreon or not, um, the one dollar, five dollar tier will get you. You can remove, add or remove the watermark if you want. You know, and if you feel like it's small tiny sliver of advertising or you know support on your little thing would help that'd be pretty cool so you, so you have the option to add or remove it whenever you want when you can remove it doesn't matter whatever that's cool but apply bam it's right there shows up move bam it goes away um also for Seven dollars. You can make your own. So you make your own style for what you want on um, what you want to overlay on your game, and I don't know, just send me the PNG or PSD or whatever, and I'll um, I'll add it um, for the seven dollar tier. But it also comes with the watermark. Um, there was somebody who added theirs. I think it was Austic. He had him. He won. It. He got that tier, so he made a pretty simple one. I mean, it works. He likes it, but that—that's an option. Um, also, um, so the twenty-dollar one. You get this. 
on 15, you get uh, early access to new features. So I added some new features not too long ago. Um, it was the notepad. I don't know if you want to... I don't know what you put in it. If you're hosting a tournament, you maybe put all of your... Um, participants in it or some notes for things to do next time. Mm, I don't know. I don't know, but cool notepad. Um, also, there's also you can contact me directly through my um, Core Pixels Shady Sand account here if you have anything you want to say or request. Or anything you're looking forward to. Or you want to add it, for example. Um, so the $20 one, which we'll get to the. So these features are in the, in the side, in this little premium features little panel now. Um, without it, well, let me show you what it looks like without it. If you um, if you don't, if you if you're not a Patreon supporter, so you can still do all, everything that you usually do. It's just that um, without it, it'll look a little different. It'll look like that. It'll look like that. So those are the features that are there. And once, yeah, if you decide to subscribe, you got more options to select from. Okay, and so that's what it. This is what it will look like with everything on, like I had it before. So, with the um, with that tier, you get these. You get uh, some different font selections. I put it in beta now because all of them will work in space uh, appropriately, but not in all styles. But on the default one, so default style would be the cross type one. I think the regular cross type one. And I choose Babis No Way for the font, so it's gonna change it. And, you know, if you don't like the default font, I like the default font, it's my favorite font. But whatever. Some other ones. Um, yeah, just a couple selections. They look pretty good. And it says beta because they will all work with the default one, uh, with the default style, um, and be positioned correctly. I may update the way everything positions in the future just to make sure everything aligns in every single style, but I'm not there yet. I haven't got an idea. Um, so yeah, there's font selection. Um, and the player switch, which comes in handy if you freaking, I don't know, just put the players in the wrong spot, or, I don't know, it's just easy, so you don't have to keep typing in, you don't have to keep typing in, like, the, I don't know, I don't know, you don't have to keep typing in every single thing, so, set the, uh, player switch, switches them just like that, just like that, easy, simple, cool. Right, yeah. Um, okay, so we also have color changing options. So you can change the, the name, the color of your name. You know, if you want the score colors, the tag clan colors, which are these here. This right here and this right here. Um, no, I'm sorry. This is the tag clan colors right there, and then the team colors if you want individually. Um, just use the hex code if you know. Um, so I can show you that. I mean, off the top of my head. Uh, and if you want them to go back to default, uh, just leave all the uh, leave all the fields empty. Some random colors. Um, Like 
those. Yeah, those are ugly colors. <laughs> oh, but I also added a tag thing too. So, <laughs> switch them back to default. Just leave them all blank. Just leave them all blank. And we'll switch it all back. Note that, yeah, the default colors are right there. Sorry, the default colors are right there, but just leave them blank, we'll um, bring it back. Or you can just hit change. Um, yeah, so that's how that works. And. There's also custom splash. Um, I made one for Amala Arena, which is a, a Blaze Blue tournament that um, that I follow. <laughs> so there's also there's one that supports the um, that supports the score bars, which you can use the feature score bars. Um, it's going to be under everybody's everybody's admin panel by default if you want to use it, and it looks like this. If you want to support bam free? Spread the word. Pretty cool, right? Um, it under yeah, under the twenty dollar tier, I can make you one. You know, whatever you want on it, let me know. Uh, usually between seven and ten seconds, I'd say. Uh, if I recall how long the other one is. Um, let's see. I made one for Amal Arena. That's what theirs looks like. Um, they got a Discord, so we'll look them up. They like Blaze Blue. They play on PC and uh, PS4. Yeah, I mean, usually use that for if you. I mean, you can use a splash for anything, but uh, my idea from the get go was like, you know, quarterfinals, grand finals, winter finals, stuff like that. So, like. <laughs> like that, grand finals. A little introduction, a little splash before the main event or something like that. But, you know, whatever you want. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I guess, uh. I guess that's it for the premium features. Um, since I last, uh, since last video, I've had a couple new supporters. Shout out to Austic, Leto, OHC, Bliff, and Andy OCR for uh, being supporters. It means a lot. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Um, any features you guys are looking forward to or want added, just uh, email me or something. Just let me know. And, um, I tried. I wanted to do like a, a Discord or um, challenge implementation, but the way the API works, I don't. I just can't. I just can't get to work. I can't figure it out. Um, that would have been pretty cool, but I don't know. Suggestions are always welcome. Anyway, 